Hey, what up everybody? Uh, this is Steve Breach coming to you. Working the early one today. I'm on my lunch. I'm about to eat some uh, Chinese chicken and rice that was left over from dinner last night. But uh, let's talk some wrestling here. Alright. Got the big uh, Elimination Chamber. Uh, ever since they uh, gave the Elimination Chamber its own pay-per-view, this is the first time they've only run uh, one chamber on the show. Um, I think the last time an Elimination Chamber solo match highlighted a, a pay-per-view, it was none other than December to Dismember, or whatever that ECW pay-per-view was called, with the big show and Bobby Lashley, CM Punk, Sabu never even got into the chamber, so on and so forth. I think Test was in there, too. Um, but, man, this... Um, the SmackDown Chamber, uh, as I was going over my prediction video, is kind of hard to, to pick it out. I watched a few prediction videos last night, mostly um, freaking the I-88s, my good buddy Miguel's, and uh, he was picking Swagger to win that chamber, and I uh, I honestly really, really want to pick him to win the chamber. I just, um, I just don't think that Jack Swagger versus Alberto Del Rio is a WrestleMania card. I would love it just because, you know, the year he's had is just... Um, Ever since he lost the U.S. title, he was just sort of, you know, uh, riding the coattails of Dolph Ziggler, just losing match after match after match, and there were rumors that he just uh, didn't want to pass a drug test. He kept failing for marijuana, and um, I don't know, kind of stupid in my book, but um, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I just... It, it would be great, but I just don't see them writing, you know, WrestleMania stories like that. You at least have to work your way up to the card to get to that that, that point, you know. Uh, you know, with The Miz, uh, everybody likes to think that he just was, you know, was coming fresh off of ECW and uh, got put right into that main event spot. But he actually was a damn good United States champion. He, you know, he had good matches, quality matches on Raw. He won the money in the bank. He cashed in. And um, his title run wasn't that great, but, you know... It was that run that got him to the title uh, that, that I think makes him a, a credible champion, even though people like to look at that WrestleMania win. Uh, you know, it was all thanks to The Rock. But, uh, you know, not that many people get to walk out of WrestleMania, the WWE champion, and Miz is one of those guys, and you'll always have to remember that. But when it comes down to WrestleMania, I, I honestly see them doing something with this whole, you know, border crossing promo uh, that they were talking about. It was mostly my boss that made me think about this because I was. Uh, I was coming in and I was all fired up that Swagger was going to be, you know, going to WrestleMania against Alberto Del Rio. And, you know, he immediately said, what if he fights Rey Mysterio? And I was like, shit. And Mysterio is one of those guys that you know is going to be on the WrestleMania card somewhere. And um, I just really think that the, uh, you know, what's going to happen is, is Ziggler's going to cash in. And we're more than likely going to get Jericho winning this chamber. And then we're going to go with... Um, Mostly just uh, some sort of, uh, I think it's going to be a six-man tag, even though I can't put three guys on the heel team. But I can see it being uh, Cesaro, Swagger, and Question Mark Guy, which will probably, in my book, be Big Show, because he's another guy you need to work on this card somehow, and I don't think anybody wants to see him in a solo match. And then you have him up against Sin Cara, Rey Mysterio, and Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio, he wouldn't be in the title picture, but this is the match that he could win and, uh, you know, sort of keep him up there as the, you know, being the, uh, um, I don't really like calling him the Mexican baby face that everybody else does, but, you know, that Mexico star that they're trying to create. And at the same time, you're making Sin Cara and Rey Mysterio look good. Uh, they, they always say that this, you know, um, market down in Mexico is a market that they want to keep and uh, make look real strong that they have, you know, stars in WWE, so on and so forth. Um, you know, just sort of probably the same reason they want to keep Yoshitatsu around and uh, give him some wins on some house shows whenever they tour over in Japan. But um, I think that's the best way you can do it. Uh, so I, I just really don't see Swagger winning it. Uh, Jericho, even though he wasn't really supposed to be in this whole uh, uh, SmackDown Elimination Chamber mess, and people are saying that the spot he filled was the, the spot for uh, Rey Mysterio, um, I don't think that he is going to come back for nothing. Uh, like I said in my prediction video, he had to have been offered something in order to come back or he'd be, you know, sitting out trying to sell uh, another book or uh, trying to get one more gig for his band. Um, and I think that's, you know, what he'd rather be doing. Um, but making that easy WWE money, uh, you know, if he's going to be getting a push and be highlighted as one of their big stars, 
I'm sure he didn't come back just to be, you know, be in that mid card dropping these matches. And you got to look, he's lost clean on the last two shows uh, back to back um, for no reason. Um, then he also got uh, Kane and uh, Daniel Bryan. I don't, I don't really see them winning um, this match just for the fact that they're probably going to have a blow off match at WrestleMania. That this promo, or this, not this promo, but this program that they've been running with I am the tag team champions and yes, yes, and no, no, and. All that jazz, it, it's been a long time. I mean, honestly, they had a singles match at uh, SummerSlam, and uh, I can't really remember if it was going on at Money in the Bank or not, but um, it's, it's, it's been running, you know, since the summer. And for something, a program run from, you know, SummerSlam all the way into WrestleMania is, uh, you know, pretty good for a mid-card feud. And um, they had a good run as WWE champions, uh, tag team champions, and hopefully when they split them up, it's not, you know, to, to bring back the I am the tag team champions thing and have, you know, you know two singles guys go at it to see who holds the tag titles. And, you know, the, the, that whole thing's highlighted by the Nitro DVD with uh, um, Sting and uh, the Giant uh, facing off to see who's going to be the tag team champions. That thing was just no good. <laughs> it was bad. I think even in WCW, Rick Steiner won the tag team champions. It's a solo thing when he, I think he probably beat his brother Scott for him. Uh, then you got Randy Orton, the big, huge question mark, the guy that uh, is a star, but they're not treating like a star. They're just sort of touting him out there. Um, probably, you know, still getting some grief from his uh, failed suspension or his failed drug test that led to his suspension, and um, they, that's never good. They always like to say that, you know, once you get a guy with two strikes, they don't want to push him because you never know when he's going to fail that next drug test, and you don't want to be him involved in something, you know, really, really big, you know, if he's just a guy in a match, you can replace him, but if he's, you know, the guy in a championship match, or he's the guy holding the championship, it's not going to look good for you. Uh, Mark Henry, um, it'd be a dream of mine to see him win this thing, you know, he got that big push two years ago, um, even since then, even since he's lost the title, they've always treated him like a real big monster again, not sort of just... You know, pushed him out there as, you know, the Kool-Aid man, uh, tag team with MVP or anything like that. That he's, you know, around WrestleMania time last year, they had him going up against CM Punk on Monday Night Raw. And um, I think he was pretty, you know, it's pretty easy to say that, you know, um, they were all right matches. They weren't great matches. Punk and Henry didn't really match up all that well. But uh, they were believable matches, even though you saw that Extreme Rules, it was going to be Jericho. Uh, getting the rematch, uh, you know, you, it, it it made you stay glued uh, to the match and, and keep you into it. So, uh, Jericho is my honest pick for this thing, but I think he honestly is a wild card. I really, really want to pick Swagger, but um, I just really can't punch that card yet. I don't think they're ready to push Orton, um, and, and that's about it. What is your honest thoughts about this thing? Uh, it's going to be fun. I honestly am picking this probably to be the opener. I think that would be the easiest thing is to open up the show, uh, lower in this thing down, and then just uh, go from there. Because um, you got two uh, real, real solid, definite main events later on in the card, and you're not going to have anything really to space this out, you know, with uh, uh, the, the Shield against T Team Cena, which is probably going to get that third to last spot, and then you'll get the Chicks match. And then you'll get Rock versus uh, CM Punk 2, which would be another uh, another classic as well. So, um, I don't know. It's going to be a fun weekend. It's some wrestling. Tell me what you guys think. Peace out.